we want to determine the points where the given function has horizontal tangent lines. Since horizontal lines have a slope of zero and derivative function values are equal to the slopes of tangent lines, we will first determine where the given function has horizontal tangent lines by finding the first derivative and then setting the first derivative equal to zero and then solving for x. The x values will give us the locations at which the given function has horizontal tangent lines and then we'll have to determine the corresponding function values to determine the y coordinates for the points where the function has horizontal tangent lines. The function was given in the form here on the left. Notice how I rewrote x cubed divided by three as one third x cubed. Let's use the form on the right to find the derivative. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of one third x cubed which is equal to one third times the derivative of x cubed which is three x squared then we have minus the derivative of three halves x squared, which is equal to three halves times the derivative of x squared, which is two x. And then minus the derivative of 10 x, which is 10 times the derivative of x, which is one, giving us just minus 10. Minus the derivative of seven, and the derivative of seven is zero. Let's go ahead and simplify the derivative function. Notice in the first product, the threes simplify to one. In the second product, the twos simplify to one. F prime of x, so the derivative function is equal to x squared minus three x minus 10. And again, now to find the x values for which the given function has horizontal tangent lines, we need to set F prime of x equal to zero and solve for x. This gives us the equation x squared minus three x minus 10 equals zero. We can solve this by factoring. There will be two binomial factors on the left. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative 10 that add to negative three are negative five and positive two. The product on the left is equal to zero when x minus five equals zero, or when x plus two equals zero, which is when x equals five, or x equals negative two. So we know the x coordinates for the points where the given function has horizontal tangent lines. One x coordinate is five and the corresponding y coordinate is going to be f of five. And the second point is negative two comma f of negative two. Now let's work on determining these two function values. And just be careful here, we are subbing these x values back into the original function in either form, not the derivative function. So f of five is equal to the cube of five divided by three minus three halves times the square of five minus 10 times five minus seven. Let's also set up f of negative two. f of negative two is equal to the cube of negative two divided by three minus three halves times the square of negative two minus 10 times negative two minus seven. And now let's go to the calculator. I've already set this up to save time. Notice how the exact value of f of five is negative 317.6, or as a decimal, approximately negative 52.83. f of negative two is exactly 13 thirds, or as a decimal, approximately 4.33. Let's go ahead and record this. Let's go ahead and use the exact values for the y coordinates. One point is five comma negative 317 six. And the second point is negative two comma 13 thirds. These are the two points where the given function has horizontal tangent lines. And let's go ahead and verify this graphically. The graph of the cubic function is in blue. Notice how there are two points where the function has horizontal tangent lines. On the left, we do have the point negative two comma 13 thirds. On the right, we do have the point five comma negative 317 sixths. I hope you found this helpful.